Hey there Music Media students, today I'm going to show you how to use the inbuilt MIDI device within Reaper. Go to the Preferences, Control P in Reaper. Head to the area under Audio, MIDI Devices, and you'll see there is a Microsoft GS Wavetable synth, which you just have to enable. Then start a new track by double clicking, or else go up to Insert, Track. I normally just double click. You want to enable input monitoring and then you have to change the input to MIDI. So I just, just set it to all MIDI inputs, all channels, arm um, the channel. Then go to the routing and select a MIDI hardware output and select that Microsoft synth. Then I'm bringing up the virtual keyboard. I'm going to the preferences now, uh, one level above there, audio device. I'm changing it to the Wasapi driver, which has less latency or less lag than the previous driver. Next, we're going to add an effect. We want a way to better change between the different sounds available in the general MIDI set. So we're going to insert the Read Control MIDI plugin, which is provided with Reaper. Next, we will enable the Bank Select area and load up the definition of general MIDI sounds, which should come with Reaper. Now that's loaded, set the bank to general MIDI, and you'll notice all the 127 sounds that come, or 128 sounds with MIDI. You can, go, you can go here and change the program, try different instruments such as vibraphone, acoustic bass, there is also a couple of other banks, so give them all a try, you might find you like some of these instruments, and it's kind of convenient not having to install a soft synth or not having to always use a soft synth. These sounds can also be good placeholders and later on you might decide to change them for a more sophisticated sound. 